What's going on guys, Mr. Loud over here. Just wanna say before we get into the video, if you like this video, as well as any other content that's on the channel, go ahead and click that subscription button, click the notification bell, wax that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much guys, enjoy the video. bunch of birds just went by what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and I want to go ahead I'm gonna start doing a new series and hopefully I can continue the series as much as possible there's tons of material for it so it should work out but I want to start talking about brand synergy uh, and so as detailers we love being able to pick out which soap we like what spray wax we like what compound we like and we like to uh, pick and, and, and pull from different companies and put together in our our arsenal but a lot of times for us that may not be professional detailers maybe you're just the driveway detailer the enthusiast or maybe you're just the kind of person that likes to go ahead and experiment with different products and different companies and you ask yourself are these products really meant to work with each other or are they just something that is you know a bunch of different products that maybe the company picked and pulled together and they went ahead and made a lineup with it nonetheless I'm gonna start talking about some brand synergy and I'm gonna start going through different lineups of different companies blah 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 let's go ahead and get into it so I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna talk about a company that is no stranger to the channel it's seafoam and we're all very familiar with seafoam with their with their engine solutions or transmission solutions and their engine treatments and all those different things they're really really well known in that aspect of mechanics of, of, of in the car industry they're more in the performance side or the engine the mechanical side of it and they will not too long ago expanded and broadened into the territory of getting into detailing products here and I want to go ahead and talk about their the three different products that you can go ahead and find at your local Walmart hopefully uh, that's the only place I've seen the products nonetheless let's get into it so this product right here it's seafoam fast finish or finish fast exterior this is no stranger to the channel you guys have seen it before I reviewed it and it got great reviews and I was a big fan of it uh, and so very quickly what it is it's a quick detail spray you wash the vehicle down you spray on the windows um, the, the the paint the trim it's safe on all different parts of the vehicle but I want to kind of show you in the video how it works in conjunction with the other products that I want to show you so you're very familiar with this product let's get into the next one the next one is the finish fast interior detail spray so very simply it's an interior detail t detailer quick detailer for the interior spray repeating all these words over here but basically what it is is just kind of how you would use this for the exterior you would use this for the interior and the finish fast interior basically it's safe on leather vinyl plastic rubber glass screens it's a pretty much a versatile product as it's marketed and I'm gonna show you in the video how it works and then the last one that just came out into Walmart not too long ago is the seafoam x99 complete auto and RV interior sanitizer and with COVID-19 still being an issue for much of the country or that's still a focus and a topic now a lot of companies are coming out with these types of products and so I want to go ahead and take this this product on in the video kind of explain it demonstrate it and show and really we're gonna see is it going to work out but simply it disinfects as it cleans kills 99.9 .9 percent of bacteria and viruses on vehicle interiors it's ideal for use on high touch surfaces and eliminates tough odors and it inhibits and keeps mold and mildew from growing for up to four weeks on soft surfaces kind of like a micro band type deal so guys I'm not gonna get all too much into it I'll explain more in the video hope you enjoy it Biggie to bam, let's get at it. So I wanna talk about something real quick before I get into actually showing the three products. Just so you know, I'm only showing those three products here. So I'll leave some timestamps if you wanna go ahead and skip this section here. I do wanna take a couple minutes and discuss something real quick. And also, if you're interested in knowing what I'm prepping the vehicle with, feel free to let me know. I'll try to leave some links in the uh, description box and all that stuff. Uh, but I wanna address something really quickly uh, concerning the pan, the organizer, scandal exposure whatever you want to call it to me it's nonsense um 
any individual who goes on their blog, vlog, YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, whatever they have, if they are explaining or if they are talking about a subject in exchange for some type of compensation, whether it be monetary or whatever it is, that does not make them a fraud, doesn't make them false, doesn't mean that they are distruthful or dishonest. It means that they are providing a service in exchange for something. It's called business. It's called capitalism. I am doing something for you in exchange. You do something for me. I receive some type of compensation for my reviews. That is what detailers do every single detail. And if you don't do that, you're not a detailer. You're just someone who enjoys detailing, but you do not have a business. You are not in this for business. You're not in this for the long haul. You just enjoy the hobby. And that's quite all right. You don't have to do it for compensation as long as you can pay your bills and live a comfortable lifestyle. That's all you, boo-boo. But if it's a situation where um, you are bashing an individual for doing something for compensation, the man showed up to work. The man went ahead and pro is providing a service and in exchange is being paid for. And it is none of our business how much he gets paid. It is none of our concern um, what type of compensation he is receiving or the terms and what's been discussed and all that. That is none of our business. Uh, quite frankly, we shouldn't care about that. And so these individuals who are trying to expose Pan, expose these YouTubers for reviewing products uh, for compensation, mind your own business. Get out of other people's lives. The only reason why they do that is they're, they're trying to jump on some type of bandwagon. They're trying to ride the coattails of Pan the Organizer who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers and when they only have tens of thousands now yeah they have more than i do and i love the mr lad community but they have more subscribers than i do nonetheless they're trying to uh push someone down to elevate themselves and it shows nothing more than their lack of self-confidence their insecurity and it shows their lack of professionalism so guys when it comes down to it don't bash people for doing things that are quite all right quite simply pan is showing up for work and these other youtubers that do stuff sponsored videos and all that they show up to work so many youtube channels do sponsored videos and we don't gripe about it we don't complain about it but all of a sudden this one guy wants to go ahead and shut down this one guy and this one girl they want to shove down uh they want to try to throw pan down the drain and think that they're exposing you're exposing no more than your stupidity that's the most blunt i've ever spoken on my channel guys but I just wanted to go ahead and say that. Be kind, be gentle, be considerate, be compassionate, and lift people up. Stop tearing them down. Lift them up, okay? It's no one's business how much they make on a, on a review. And the companies that are out giving these disclosure agreements about what they discuss with Pan, they are very unprofessional. And I think Scott said it best from Dallas Paint Correction. He finally came out of the cave, and I'm th it was great to see him post another video so wonderful to see him again but he said it best those companies that are discussing what they had this or that are um, uh, telling this youtuber what they discussed with pan they are wrong for doing that and they need to be exposed themselves because what they did is horrible pan just trying to make a living he's just trying to provide for his family he's trying to pay his bills and if anyone has a problem with pan trying to run a business then they need to get out of business themselves and they need to go to work for somewhere where they're not valued in life Okay, thank you so much. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this car down, and we're going to go ahead and get into it.
right, let's see if I can one take Drake this bad boy over here. So as you guys have been waiting for the purpose of this video, the Seafoam uh, finish fast lineup here. So this is the uh, exterior detailer. So the cool thing about this product, if you, and you should be, if you've been on my channel for quite some time, you're probably familiar with this product. Um, it was one of my better performing videos on the channel. The cool thing about this product is that it kind of bridge the get, bridges the gap between quick detailers and spray waxes. So quick detailers in their very essence are simply products that are they're little pick-me-ups, they're little quick cleaners, they're quick, literally quick detailers. Remove some smudges here. You know, if you have a situation where you just wash the vehicle and, and now you got some bird droppings on the vehicle, uh, <clears throat> the, the quick detailers work well with that. Really don't provide much protection, even though they say there's waxes in it. They're not known for protection, they're not known for water beating or water sheeting or all that good stuff. But the cool thing about this product here, the Seafoam Finish Fast Detailer, is that it kind of bridges the gap where you now see some water beating happening. You start to see some durability coming out of this product. And so I don't know if I would accurately describe it as a quick detailer. Although it has the versatility of a quick detailer, I would put this more in the spray wax category. Now, it doesn't last months long like some of the modern spray waxes last. It'll last you about two strong weeks before you realize, hey, it's time to go ahead and reapply. It is a product that I would not mind just being my sole uh, protection soul uh you know the, the soul protection for the vehicle as you see it works great as a drying aid i'm using it wash the car rinse it down and i and i sprayed it on the windows one spray on the windows a couple sprays per panel and it leaves some good slickness behind it leaves some good gloss here and on this black vehicle in direct sunlight it really shows very well now this product has a good cherry scent i would describe it as a cherry scent um, it's a great scent. It, it, it works very well um, in direct sunlight on a black car. It works very well uh, even on a dry application. I'll show you later in the video, but you don't have to, to apply it like this. I'm just kind of showing the versatility of how it works. And when you use it as a drying aid, as you see, I did it to literally half the car and then I'm going back over. If you see any smearing or any smudging or any streaking, the streaks remove extremely easily. I don't know if there's Carnuba uh, or what's inside of this that provides the protection. I'm assuming it's probably just some type of synthetic polymer that enhances some hydrophobic action, that enhances some shine and gloss, and maybe provides some protection as well. But it works very well as a drying aid, and now that we're hitting the summer months, it's a, I'm noticing in my business, I actually like drying aids more than I used to at first. I used to hate the drying aids because they would clump up and I didn't want them ruining my towels, but now I'm finding that actually they work very well, especially on windows. It makes my life a lot easier. Funny enough, I'm going back on that. And now I don't see the alcohol-based glass cleaners kind of uh, sticking to the windows, and it just makes it a bit easier when it comes to direct sunlight uh, detailing. Now we're going to hit some interior work over here. I'm just going to do a quick little one over, show you exactly how I prepare the interiors for whatever I end up using as a dressing detail spray, whatever. I don't use dressings in my business, but I do use the detail spray, obviously, as you're going to see in the video. Um, I use detail sprays. It does provide protection. It does protect and enhance and all, all that stuff, all, all the jargon that you hear for the outside. It's the same for the inside as well and all that cool stuff. You see, I got my cute little brush over there. I feel adorable as we speak. That's legit, a makeup brush. I'm getting to the point where I don't really buy detail brushes anymore, but I'll make a video on that in the future. But go ahead, and this is how I prepare the interiors.
Guys, we are just moving along over here. So the Seafoam Finish Fast Interior Detail Spray follows suit with the Exterior Spray where it has a nice cherry scent. It has an easy application process. It works very well, especially on hard plastics and trims on the interiors. Um, when you have situations where you have, as you can see, some of these trim pieces that a standard all-purpose cleaner can smear or smudge. Uh, literally, you just flip the towel over and it removes, it buffs off any residue with ease. And of course, it does leave some protection. Is it going to be long-lasting protection? I think it follows suit with what it's supposed to be, an interior detailer. It's just something that you, that you use for... Um, you know, picking up stuff, some cleaning up some light dirt here and there. It does leave protection behind, and I think that, in my experience, using this repeated on uh, on a vehicle in the interiors, I haven't had any issues where I'm seeing vehicles degrade. I'm seeing I haven't seen any interiors degrade, um, and so I think that goes a lot with the fact that you know, of course, interiors have clear coat on them, so that is what it is there. But it works very well, and it's very easy to use. So the cool thing about this product is it works very well on really any interior situation. As I mentioned before, it works well on everything but suede. But you see on the center console over here, the center area by the gear shifter and all that, it works very well. It cleans up extremely well. I have not had any issues with residue or streaking or staining. Of course, you're going to have residue that is left behind. But what I mean by I don't have an issue is just a little wipe down afterwards and it picks it up and it removes very easily. The cool thing about this product is that it has enough bite in it to where if you have a little bit of minor soiling, this product does work very well. So of course, interior detailers are more fortified for it dust, but this has a little bit of bite in it. So if you do have a, a, a little bit of a, 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 not a smudge, a little soiling happening like in the cup holders or something like that, it does work well enough to where it can remove some of the soiling I repeat, some of the soiling without damaging anything and hopefully it is still leaving behind the protection. Of course, you see here it works great on the dash and some of these air vents over here in this area, this console, it works very well with and I'm, and I'm enjoying the experience. So we're just juking and driving over here. The steering wheel, the product works beautifully on. Now, if you have makeup smudges and makeup stains, it's not going to take care of that. You need a, a cleaner for that. Something that has a little bit more bite than this product. You need a, an actual cleaner. Uh, but this works great in a maintenance scenario. It works great. Goes over the steering wheel very well. So the one place where this product does fall short is here on the leather seats. Now, if you are familiar with O&R Optimum No Rinse, if you've ever diluted it down to like 32 to 1 or whatever the dilution ratio is for interiors, and you've used it on some of the leather seats, uh, you know, you may be familiar with the fact that it can be grabby under the towel, and I'm having that same experience on this Audi Q7 with the uh, Seafoam Finish Fast Interior Detailer. It's not on every vehicle. I've used this on quite a few vehicles. Vehicles, actually quite a lot of vehicles this is not even my first bottle um, and I've never had the issue except for this vehicle something about this leather on the Audi Q7 now it's on every Audi Q7 I've used it on has the same problem so there's something with the way they make this le these leather seats I don't have the issue with any other leathers whether it's a steering wheel even in this vehicle even the center console I don't have a problem with the armrest something about these seats and I don't know what it is I'm just having an issue with it and it kind of reminds me of using O&R on some leathers and on different interiors uh, but outside of that I have a great experience and that's the only problem I have with this product Now, of course, last but not least, we have the Seafoam X99 Complete Auto and RV Interior Sanitizer. So it's no surprise that products like this are popular now and companies are starting to come out with disinfectants like never before. 2020 and 2021 has been a complete shocker to everyone. And so companies are really jumping on the bandwagon and Seafoam did not fall short of jumping on that same bandwagon. So what you do is you simply spray it onto the surface. If you're working with fabric, spray it on. I like to spread it out a little bit. I 
I did not dry it, but I like to spread it out. If you want to take a brush and do your bougie detail lines, you're more than welcome to. I'm not that uh, uh, special, but I went ahead and sprayed it, got an application. Here's a before, and we're about to see an after. And as you can see, there is really not much of a difference. That's the problem with these types of products. You really don't know if they're working. Nonetheless, uh, it works great as a, uh, of course, a sanitizer. It works great as an odor removal. If you're familiar with odor removal products, there's a lot of different chemicals inside of these types of products that allow for odor, odor removal. Here's some of the ingredients. Chlorine dioxide, dimethyl or dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride, dimethyl ethyl benzyl ammonium chloride and then of course other if you are familiar with those chemicals you can tell me whether they mean anything or not but what you can do is go ahead and spray the rag directly spray your towel directly and go ahead and wipe the product onto any hard surface that you kind of want to spot treat now you're supposed to let it sit on there for 10 minutes so it can break down all of the different um, uh, organisms. It could break down any bacterias or anything that can be killed from this product. You need to let it sit on there for a while. So that's the one thing is, do you want a product like this to go ahead and sit for that long? Uh, one thing I will say is don't spray directly onto your panels because I did it. I like to test these products out on my car first before putting them on any vehicle and I went ahead and sprayed it on the interior on my interior panels and then the tents of my my driver's side tent it actually discolored it a bit so be careful spray the towel directly if you're going to be working on any of the hard plastics or hard leathers or whatever by the windows especially if you have tinted windows uh, but for steering wheels it's no different spray the towel directly and go ahead and wipe as necessary now of course you're 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 running on a prayer here because you really don't know if you're killing anything these products the the unfortunate thing is you go by a trust system if you don't have a microscope it's really hard to see if it's really working or not and so if you're offering a service like this don't say i kill all bacterias say something along the lines of we have bacteria maybe removals or something where we can remove up to i don't know 90 percent 99 percent i can't guarantee every 100 percent of it's going to be gone but kind of give yourself a little room for error there, a little bit of margin that you can work with. Um, but of course, go ahead and use it on the shifter knobs. Use it on anything that's a, a heavily touched area if you're really trying to clean and sanitize. Now, I don't notice any discoloration. The only issue I had on the interiors is with the tinted windows. But you can go ahead and spray on all the carpets if you want. You can do your lines. Like I said, you can do all that stuff. And you can go around the whole vehicle. It's not going to give you a heavy chemical smell. It has a very, very light smell, a very light chemical smell. Uh, but with all the different weird names that are inside of the product, that's just given it's going to happen. Now I'm trying to do things in the order of how I would detail and the last part of the detail I always do a wipe down. Here's the fast finish exterior detailer hitting some of the water lines that come from the cracks of the windows here and you can see it's really easy to use. Great for the windows, great for all that stuff. No streaks, no smearing, no nothing. It's just a very user friendly product even in direct sunlight. I really, really do enjoy the user experience and I think Seafoam really hit a home run with the exterior detailer. Now that we got everything dialed in using the Seafoam system, I think it's pretty cool that Seafoam came out with some products, but let me know what you guys think. Looks like everything is good. Uniform, outside was easy to work with, inside was easy to work with. Odor smells good. Everything is good to go here on this beautiful Audi Q7. There, guys, have it. That was the Seafoam Finish Fast uh, Detailing Lineup or Arsenal. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these products here. I know I gave a lot of information. There was a lot to see there and a lot to grow from and a lot to understand about these products. So I think everything was pretty self explanatory within the video there. But go ahead and comment below. What do you think about these products? What do you think about Seafoam getting into the detailing world? Are they just kind of catching on to what's being popular now? Or do you think that they're actually providing a solution or solving a problem? Do you think they actually have good market share? 
So let me know what you think below in the comment section. But guys, uh, what I want to go ahead and do, I'm sorry, my words are all conjumbled here and this is like a low budget setup here. I'm not the kind of guy who writes down everything in advance and then speaks. I kind of speak as my mind goes, which could be a blessing and a curse, I guess. Uh, what One thing I want to do though uh, is I want to go ahead and do a giveaway. Now these products are available at Walmart. Uh, they're available even on walmart.com, all of them except for the sanitizer. You can't find that online. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to do a giveaway here and uh, so go ahead and comment on the comment section below you know say your business name or how long you've been on the channel what's maybe the first video that you saw of the channel it's been a while since I've done a giveaway like this yeah we'll do that how long have you been on the channel and what was the video that introduced you to the channel and what we'll do is um, for one winner I'll go ahead and I will go ahead and go on Walmart Dot com. I will buy these two products right here, the exterior detail spray and the interior detailer. And I'll go ahead and through walmart.com and I'll just go ahead and ship them straight to you. That way it's easier for shipping and easier for everything because the last thing I want to do is buy the product and send it out and then the nozzle breaks and all that stuff. I've had issues with that in the past and these are not the most durable nozzles. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and order them. And uh, if it's available in your area, we're going to leave this to the United States, 48 states in the area i don't i don't know I'm, I'm i'm just acting like a fool now here uh but yeah we'll leave it there and uh, go ahead and comment on the comment section below about the first video that you saw that introduced you to the channel and how long you've been subscribed here and guys thank you so much i hope that this video brought some value to you i hope it gave you some understanding of the lineup and of the company as a whole and uh let me know what you think about these uh product synergy these company synergy videos so what i'm gonna end up doing is going and looking at all the different companies that you'll find at Walmart. AutoZone Advanced Auto Parts and kind of going through the lineup and getting the basic gist of it and then seeing how the products work with each other. So I'm kind of excited to do it because I love working with new products and I hope you guys enjoy seeing the content on them, guys. So Once again, Mr. Lad here signing out. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that uh, click the subscription button, click the notification bell, wax that like button for the YouTube algorithm, comment in the comment section below. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and... Take care. Yeah, I was a hot mess throughout this whole video.